Well, that brings us to the next part. Tell me about Healthy Easy Green. Healthy Easy Green uh, started out way back about seven or eight years ago. I had started doing a television show in Vermont, mm -hmm. and um, it was it was on all aspects of healthy living, mm -hmm. and it had a name that I realized I couldn't use because someone else had been using it. <laughs> so I called my daughter and I said, "What am I going to call this?" And she said, "Well, call it Healthy Easy Green because that's what you're doing." One of my goals is to keep things healthy, to keep things easy, yeah, keep and everything green, mm -hmm. because it's not only the food that I want to share with people, yeah. I want to do the green, the environmental living aspect right. of so things. So there's a whole sociolo sociology, exactly. psychology part of it. Yeah. Your environment, what is your environment? If, if you're trying to eat perfect and eat sprouts and drink your wheatgrass, but you're putting on garbage and toxins on your skin and mm -hmm. uh, living within plastics and you have off-gassing and uh, you're living under electromagnetic wires and you're not conscious of that, then you're kind of missing the point right. too. So it's, it's, a, it's a whole entire a holistic thing. Program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the main point is easy. I yeah. like it easy. Yeah. I, I One of the things I love it. about Linda is no matter what she's doing and how she teaches you, it's so simple even I can figure it out. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And I did my job. <laughs> so we're, we're at the part where people are getting ready to leave Hippocrates. They've gone through all this emotional change. They've, they've done the program. They're all feeling fantastic. They're ready to go out there and face the world. This is where Linda comes in. And tell them about, okay, the first week, you, you're, you're a new person just coming out of Hippocrates. You're coming home. How do you help them? Well, we, we try to help them before they leave. Mm -hmm. Because usually once they get home, the first thing that happens to them is, boom, life right. hits them. Right. And they're not having their juicer washed. They're not getting their dishes washed. They're not mm -hmm. making, you know, the people made food for them and, right. and, and right. pampered them That's and tough. massaged right. them. And, and uh, <laughs> they're home. Oh, my gosh. Now it's me? I have to do this? <laughs> so we try to give them as many tools before they leave so that that transformation or that, you know, that move right. home will not be so traumatic. Right. It is, though, nonetheless, yeah. Yeah. no matter what kind of tools we try to give them, because it's a lot of information. So um, developing a series of DVDs to help mm -hmm. people with easy tips on what to do once they get home, right. um, books to help them keep on track. Those are things that I'm developing right mm -hmm. now. You're um, doing a book right now, 21 Days, yes. Simple Easy Things Over yes, 21 Days. Exactly. Excellent. So yeah. that's something that's coming up, so keep yeah. in tune for that. Yeah. But um, that's what we try to do. Plus, they can always call back. Right. Right now, Hippocrates has a good support system over the internet. Mm -hmm. You can blog uh, the person who takes care of the blogs. You can ask questions on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot more help right now. Okay. But uh, you can always email me as well, Linda at HealthyEasyGreen.com, mm -hmm. and I can help you out with any questions that you may have before or after leaving Hippocrates. Mm -hmm. And do you actually go to their home sometimes to help sometimes them Sometimes I have, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Yes, I do. And some of the past health educators do the same thing. So by connecting with Hippocrates, you may you know, find out mm -hmm. someone in your area that could help you do that. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can get them set up. And, and what's the first um, overwhelming thing people w walk into their kitchen? What, are the, what do they do? What are they, how do they get set up? The most overwhelming thing, I think, is first getting the things out of the box. Mm -hmm. When you're buying things, get yourself a juicer, a good blender, and a dehydrator. Those are kind of the basics mm -hmm. to get started. It's actually taking things out of the box, putting it on the counter, and playing with it. Right. You may make a mistake. <laughs> right. You may make a mistake. And you may not know how for the first time, how do you put this juicer back together? Uh, just do it. Right. Just do it. When I started using my dehydrator, I threw a, I threw away a lot of food. Mm -hmm. Well, kind of. I, it was in, it went to the compost, but I would instead of throwing it away, I would put it in a jar on the shelf and that looks really good, but I don't <laughs> like the taste, but it would stay there for a few months. Okay, it it's all right. After I can throw a while. it away now. Age no one's, no one's going to miss it. So, um, you know, there are some, and, and I suggest to everybody, write things down. Because when, yeah. when you're in the Very kitchen inventing yeah. things, yeah. Keep it I would, yeah, write down, okay, this was good, but oh, it was too dry, I need to add another teaspoon of this or another teaspoon of that liquid, mm -hmm. add another plus one teaspoon, one tablespoon. Because when you're done, sometimes I've made some delicious things that people would say, you can make a fortune, sell this, but mm -hmm. I didn't remember how I did it. Ah, so I would say, write things down, make yourself a journal, and pretty soon you'll have your own cookbook. There you go. Yeah. And speaking of cookbooks. Yes. Are you coming out with some soon? Yes, yeah. recipe book actually. Uh, huh? It's called a recipe book because we don't cook, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> a non-cookbook. A non-cookbook. <laughs> so yes, that's coming up. We started yeah. with one because we have a Sean and I made a, a sprouting DVD. Which is a very successful DVD. We're really it, enjoying this. It is. <laughs> it's teaching people simple, easy ways to sprout. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun, and it's really fun and easy. 
which is my motto. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a little bit of a, we have a few recipes that go with that as well. What, mm -hmm. what do you do with sprouts? How do you include that in your daily life? And right. how do you actually? Well, let's talk about some problems that people have when they first get home. And um,